Heaven Father, give the blessing. Blessed the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the well-being of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, for all who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy ecumenical pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For most reverend Metro Archbishop and Metropolitan William, for a God-loving Bishop Milan, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may be sanctified by the power, action, and descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the grace of redemption and the blessing of Jordan may come upon it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That her who now approaches holy enlightenment and for her salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That she may prove herself a daughter of light and an heir of eternal blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, mercy. That this water may become for her the washing of rebirth, for the forgiveness of sins and garment of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That she may be delivered with, uh, with us from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o, Lord. o Lord, God, rule and creator of all things, both seen and unseen, you created heaven and earth and the sea and everything that is in them. You gather the waters into one place and close their depth and seal them by your awesome and glorious name. Raising the waters above the heavens, you made the earth firm upon the waters and established the sea by your power. You crushed the herds of serpents in the waters. You are also men who can withstand you. Look, O Lord, upon this your creature and upon this water, and grant it the grace of redemption and the blessing of Jordan. Make it a fountain of incorruption, a gift of sanctification for the forgiveness of sins and healing of sicknesses, the destruction of demons impregnable to hostile powers and fill this angelic strength. Let those who would like to instill your creature flee from this water, for we have called upon your name, O Lord, which is wondrous and glorious and fearful to the enemy. May all the enemy powers be crushed by the sign of your cross. May all the enemy powers 
be crushed by the sun of your cross. May all the enemy powers be crushed by the sign of your cross. For to you is your glory, power, honor, and worship together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Please speak to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, <clears throat> oh Master, Lord God, who our fathers, to those in nor argue, send it thou bearing an int big. A twig of the olive tree as a sign of reconciliation and of salvation from the flood, for a shadowing the mystery of grace. Now you have provided the fruit of the olive tree for the celebration of your holy mysteries, and by it you have filled those under the law with the Holy Spirit and have perfected those under grace. Therefore, O Lord, bless this oil. Through the power, action, descent of your Holy Spirit, that it may be, in, uh, be an anointing of incorruptibility, a weapon of righteousness, and a renewal of soul and body, turning away every work of the devil. May it deliver from all evil those who are anointed with it in faith and partake of it. For your glory and for the glory of your only begotten Son, your Holy Good and life giving spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is God who enlightens and sanctify everyone coming into the world, now and ever and forever. The servant of God, Sariah, is anointed with the oil of gladness. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, that her mind may be open to the understanding and acceptance of the mystery of the faith of Christ, and to the knowledge of his truth, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. For the healing of soul and body, and that she may love the Lord God with all her heart, with all her soul, and with all her mind, and that she may love her neighbor as herself. That her ears may be ready to listen the teaching of faith and accept the words of the divine gospel that she willingly take upon herself the easy yoke of Christ and gladly carry his light burden and that she may shun all cravings on sexuality. That she may innocently raise the hands to heaven and do the write things all the times and bless the Lord that she may walk in the path of commandments of Christ. The servant of God, Sariah, is baptized in the name of the Father, and the Son, 
of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The servant of God, Sarai, clothed in the robe of righteousness, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O most merciful Christ, our God, you clothe yourself with the light as with a garment. Give me a robe of light. Receive this lighted candle. And during your entire life, strive to shine with the light of faith and good deeds. And when the Lord comes, you may be able to meet him with light together with all the saints and enter unhindered into the courts of his heavenly glory and reign with him through all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and mercy. Blessed are you, Lord God, ruler of all, source of all good things, Son of righteousness. You have raised up a light of salvation to those in darkness through the manifestation of your only begotten Son. And our God, though you have, we are unworthy, you have given us blessing. Bless, bless cleansing in holy water and divine sanctification through holy anointing. Now to your newly enlightened servant, you have been pleased to give new birth by water and spirit for the forgiveness of our sins, whether committed willingly or unwillingly. Therefore, Master and gracious King of all, grant her also the seal of the gift of your holy, almighty, adorable spirit, and the communion of the holy body and precious blood of your Christ. Keep her in your holiness, strengthen her in the true faith, and deliver her from the evil one and all his deceitful ways. Keep her in purity and righteousness by fear of you, that brings salvation, that she may please you in her every word and deed, and become a daughter and heir of your heavenly kingdom. For you are our God, a God of mercy and salvation, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in a whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For 
for you are holy our God, and we render glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. Blessed and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. In all that you have done, your justice is apparent. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. Wisdom, a reading from the book of Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. It is good to have our hearts strengthened by the grace of God and not by foods which are useless to those who take them as a standard for living. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. The bodies of the animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sin offering, are burned outside the camp. Therefore, Jesus died outside the gate to sanctify the people by his own blood. Let us go to him outside the camp, bearing the insult which he bore. For here we have no lasting city, we are seeking one which is to come. Through him, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, that is, the fruit of lips which acknowledge his name. 
Do not neglect good deeds and generosity. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Summon before me my people who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Reverend Father, blessed proclaimer of the gospel of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist John. May God, through the prayers of the Holy, Glorious, Illustrious Apostle, Angelist John, grant that you proclaim the word of his great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, that your Son may give glory to you, inasmuch as you have given him authority over all mankind, that he may bestow eternal life on those you gave to him. Eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and him who you have sent, Jesus Christ. I have given you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. Do you now, Father, give me glory at your side, a glory I had with you before the world began. I have made your name known to those you have gave me out of the world. These men you gave me were yours. You have kept your word. Now they realize that all you gave me comes from you. I entrusted to them the message you entrusted to me, and they received it. They have known that in truth I came from you. They have believed it was you who sent me. For these I pray, not for the world, but for these you have given me, for they are really yours, just as all that belongs to me is yours. So all that belongs to you is mine. It is in them that I have been glorified. I am in the world no more, but these are in the world as I come to you. O Father, most holy, protect them with your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. As long as I was with them, I guarded them with your name, which you gave me. I kept careful watch, and not one of them was lost. None but him who was destined to be lost in fulfillment of the scripture. Now, however I come to you, I said all this 
while I am still in the world, that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the word world has hated them for it. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but to guard them from the evil one. They are not of the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them by means of truth. Your word is truth. As, I, as you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. Glory to Jesus Christ. We heard something very important in our gospel today, something that is some kind of essential truth for us and knowledge and advice too. We heard that the eternal life is to know God that somehow you can put together those two things. If you know God, you have eternal life. If you don't love, know God, you do not have eternal life. And it seems really simple, and it is. It is really simple, this message, and God doesn't make things complicated. He says our truth in simple words, but we try to complicate it because we think that we are smarter many times than he is. But even this verse from gospel can raise question in us. He said, okay, we can say, if I know God, it doesn't mean that I have eternal life. Yes, this is true. But do we understand correctly what does it mean to know God? In our Western civilization, to know, we many times change or, or replace this original meaning, biblical meaning of this word, we change this intellectual knowledge. And sometimes we think that, well, I know about God. I'll know Bible, I know his word, I know teaching of the church, I know God. Well, true is that it's just an information. And it is just something that is on our intellectual level. But it is not meaning of this biblical word which we heard today, to know God. To know God has different meaning and deeper meaning. And if you go to the first book of the Old Testament, we can read there verse that Adam, first man, knew evil. To know Bible, understand as an intimate connection. Intimate connection, so intimate that Bible uses this word to describe love, intimate life between husband and wife. To know God means, in biblical language, to have this deep relationship with God, which causes that I feel and I want and all my desire is to be with Him. 
And if we have this relationship with God, we already have eternal life. Because everybody who lives in God lives forever. But there is a danger for us, especially if we are raised by this Western thinking, that knowledge, intellectual knowledge is enough. There is a danger for us because we can go out to fall to trap, to deceive, we can lie to ourselves, yes, I am fine because I know God. But true is that our eternity will be the same as it is here. If we don't allow prayer, if we don't allow liturgy, if we don't allow to worship Him, if we don't try to really serve Him, if we don't try to be with Him all the time and we don't practice that, the same will be in eternity. We will refuse to serve him. We will refuse to worship him. We will refuse to be in his presence. We will refuse to be with him. And this is hell. This is our no to God, even if we have that knowledge. That was like, this is very dangerous for us if we don't start to think correctly about this verse we heard today. What does it mean to know God? Because if today I am giving my love to the world, if I am giving my love to my passions, if I follow my bad habits, if I follow my pride in many ways, when I will stand at my desk in front of God, and I will see him in his glory. And then I will see the other side, things I loved before. Even I will see all this beauty of God. And I will tell him, no, thank you. Because I allow my heart love something else. And this is the reason why we talk many times about spiritual life. We saw and we were witnesses of baptism, this beginning of this God's life in the heart of Sarai. We saw these visible signs through water, through oil, she was accounted among those who belong to Christ. But we all know that it is the journey in front of her. And we know that it is not easy to fight these things of this world. That we many times we follow our own wisdom, not God's wisdom. That many times in our life we say, and many times through days we say, No, God, I am not going to serve you. I am going to serve me. I am going to please myself. I am going to follow what is good for me as I wish, not as you wish. And we know that this is in us. And spiritual life is to deny ourselves and through faith accept his commandments and follow him in this faith that in him we have eternal life. Not in our wishes, not in our will, not in through our plans, but through him. And this is why we use the sacraments of the church Many times to cleanse ourselves when we fell through holy confession. When God gives us this grace, this is like many holy fathers, they call it like the second baptism. Well, I had several thousand baptisms. <laughs> it is true. 
well, and through other sacraments, Holy Eucharist, anointing of the sick, marriage. God gives us a lot of grace because he knows that we are on journey and this journey is very dangerous because we fight against invisible enemy. And it is up to us if we use these sources of grace or not. And again, if you don't use these sources, ask yourself, why are you, I am not using them? I don't want to come closer to God. Another common thing is to prayer. Many times it is, we feel this, it is like duty we don't like. Many times is, we say, well, I have, I have no time to pray. So what is so important that you're in eternal life? What is so important, more important than to come to this relationship with God which gives you eternal life? Remember, life is short, but eternity is long. Life is short, very short. And eternity is too long. And all about our passions, we can recognize our passions and bad habits. We recognize that we, uh, we are not able to fulfill some God's commandments because of our weakness. But do we fast? Do we pray? Do we try hard? Do we really come to see your spiritual father and to ask him, help me because I want to get out of all this bad stuff because my eternal life is in danger. Church teaches us how to live eternal life. And, but we can't deny this or refuse this offering, these good advices if we think that we are too smart and we think that we can handle it somehow. Or when our heart is so hard many times that we are not even recognize what is truth. And we follow our own truth and thinking that we will be doing well in heaven. And this is a huge mistake. Today, before liturgy, before we started this rite of exorcism, we had in the back of the church. And Soraya was saying these words I commit myself to Christ. And she refused the work of Satan. And all we who were baptized, we or our parents, made this resolution, these vows. We should remember that. Well, today God gives us this reminder that He created us for eternal life. And He wanted wants us to be with him for eternity. And every sin what we need to have or to reach from our side is to have desire to know him. To have this intimate relationship with him. And this is priority of all priorities without putting this as a most important thing in our life, we will fail. We will fail. St. Isaac the Syrian says, if your heart is filled with world, you will not get the divine knowledge which comes from above. Let's open our hearts for God. Let's beg Him, ask Him for the grace. May He lead us to that deep 
deeper intimate, intimate knowledge of him. Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray you, <coughs> hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Milan, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful, loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, our Holy Father Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Milan, the entire priest of the Economic Monastic Order, our government and for all in the service of our country and the memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember 
all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever. the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant this prayer mercy, only begotten Son, this may bless together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and a divine. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy and offer up in peace. Mercy, peace, our sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to you, but you to praise you, to thank you, to worship you, to replace your dominion for your God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever the same, <clears throat> you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non existence into being again, raised us up when we had fallen, left nothing undone, until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, and only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and the benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there send before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many eyes running out on their wings. Singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn of Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your We also cry out with these blessed powers, loving kindness, and say, Holy are you, and all holy, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> holy are you, and all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world, and you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf, and the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world. He took bread into his holy and all pure immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remember the forty same command, and all this come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sin at the right hand, and the second coming glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you. Moreover, we offer to you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and treat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts lying before us. Reverend Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Father, bless the holy chalice. And that which is in this chalice is the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Father, bless both. Changing them by Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Therefore, those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of your mission. Vigils, remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those who part in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, 
and religious spirit brought to perfection in faith. In special from most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to Among the first, the Lord, the member Holy Father, Francisco Porom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God, our Bishop Milan, Prince of them for the Holy Churches in peace, safety, honor, health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. <coughs> And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise the most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may be confident and without condemnation. There call you Father, God of heaven, and say. the kingdom and power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. To your Bow your head to the Lord. The mercy and loving kindness, only begotten Son, which we are blessed together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. 
Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. O Lord, I believe and confess. In the true and true Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of the mind and the first. Accept me today as a partaker of the mystical supper of the Son of God. Come now, who are you to seek your enemies? Lord, I give you kisses to Jesus, but like the faith I profess you. Behold, I approach and walk to the end of God. You have found many precious and holy. Love of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Choose your most precious child in your life-giving love, which I pray may be worthy to receive for the Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has Thank you, Pat. 
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the Bless is our God, always, now and ever, and forever. Receive the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating, awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. 
let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them, return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to priests, to our government and to all your people for all generous giving and ever a perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you <clears throat> through His grace, loving kindness. Always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and forever. May Christ, O true God, raise them from the death of mercy on us and save us. Through the praise of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, illustrious apostles, of our holy father, John Christ, of Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy father, Nicholas, the patron of this church, of the holy fathers of the seventh ecumenical council, and through the praise of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to you forever. Thank you for beautiful liturgy. Thank you. You came to worship our Lord. I would like to wish happy birthday to Ted Laser. Lulian Chilko, thank you for a wonderful example you are giving through your life and for all the work you are doing for the church. To Katie Howe, obviously, it yesterday. And to happy birthday to Monica Roberts, probably the held wild party yesterday <laughs> somewhere. Well, anyway. Read the bulletin, everything is there. I just want to remind you, clock is ticking, and there is time to buy reverse raffle tickets. And if you want in December $3,000, it's time to buy these tickets for this grand prize. So, the opportunity is to buy those things in the hall during this <coughs> special surprise for Saraya. Saraya, you should invite everybody to the hall, celebrate with you, okay? Okay, I will tell it instead of you. Okay, so everybody is invited for celebration, for show celebration to our hall. Please come over. It will be worthy. Congratulations to Saraya. Welcome. It is an amazing day for you, and maybe now it doesn't click everything, but once in eternity, you will see this day as a really huge God's miracle. Because what happened in your soul today is nothing less than miracle. To servants of God, Sarah, to servants of God, all members of her family, to servants of God, Ted, Lud and Katie, Monica, to servants of God, all members of this parish, and to our visitors, 
grant, O Lord, many years. Amen.